Hello viewers, this is Walgada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on acceleration and velocity expressed as a function of displacement in simple harmonic motion. So previously in lesson 1, we saw that simple harmonic motion is a periodic motion of a particle whose acceleration is directed towards the fixed point and its magnitude is directly proportional to the displacement from the fixed point. So that shows that A, acceleration is directly proportional to X, which is the displacement from the fixed point. So this is A, this is X, which is the displacement. Now, to remove this proportionality sign, you and, to put, and you put an equal sign, you have to put a constant of proportionality. Now, in this case, our constant of proportionality will be omega squared. But we add a negative, and Y. It's because acceleration is in the direction of decreasing x. Let's see how it is. So in this case, if the particle is moving in this direction, this acceleration will be in the direction of decreasing x. Remember, this is our x from the main point. So as it moves towards the fixed point, this value of x will be reducing. And that's why we put there a negative. On the other side, the constant of proportionality is squared to ease later integration as we derive the formulas of velocity in re as a function of displacement we need to integrate somewhere so it is better to put a constant which is a square now from calculus we know that a is equal to dv dt which is the rate of change in velocity and by chain rule we know that dv dt is the same as dv dx multiplied by dx dt. In that case, but we also know that dx dt is the same as velocities. Remember, dx dt is the same as rate of change of displacement. So it is b the equal to velocity. So in the end, we shall get dv dx multiplied by v, which is v dv dx. So in other words, acceleration is equal to v dv dx. But you also know that A is equal to negative omega squared x. So when we come and substitute here, we shall get negative omega squared x will be equal to A dv dx. So when we collect like terms, put x on one side and v on the other side, we shall come up with this line. And when we put integrals on both sides, we shall come up with that line. So at that line, we have to integrate. So integrate v, you'll get a half v squared with respect to v. Then you also, this omega squared it remains a constant so it can come out and you'll be left with x alone to integrate. So when you integrate x with respect to x, you'll get a half x squared. Bring back the constant which is omega squared plus the constant of integration. Now this c is the constant of integration. But velocity of the particle is zero at the end points. I think you remember that when this particle is at this point, the velocity is zero and acceleration is maximum. Similarly, when it is at this point, velocity is zero and acceleration is maximum. That was seen in lesson one. So that means that when v is zero, x is equal to plus or minus r. Come and substitute in this formula. Put your zero here. Put your r here where there is x. And you end up with your C as a half omega squared R squared. So substitute for C here, you'll get this expression. And when you rearrange, you'll come up with V squared equal to negative omega squared X squared plus omega squared R squared. So omega squared is common in both. So factorize it out. You'll come up with V squared equal to omega squared in brackets R squared minus X squared. So this is the expression for velocity in terms of x. And substitute r to get a max. So we shall use those formulas to come up with a solution to these problems. Problem 1. A particle moves in a straight line with simple harmonic motion of period 5. The greatest speed is 4 meters per second. Find, Roman 1, the amplitude, Roman 2, the speed when it is 6 over pi meters from the center. 
So in this case, we know the period of motion. And we know that period is given by pi 2 pi over omega. So when you equate it to 5 and make omega the subject, we shall come up with 2 pi over 5 rads per second. Rads per second is the, S is the unit for omega or angular velocity. So they asked for amplitude and the question they gave us the maximum speed. Remember the formula for maximum speed is omega r. So maximum speed is 4 meters per second, comma substitute 4 where there is V max. Omega you have calculated it as 2 pi over 5, comma substitute multiplied by r. So when you make r the subject you come up with 3.1831 meters and that will be your amplitude. That is the answer for Roman 1. So now in Roman 2, they wanted the speed when it is 6 over pi meters from the center. Since it is measured from the center, it means that 6 over pi is our x. So we know that we know this formula. So x is 6 over pi. R is the amplitude which we already calculated here. 10 over pi, which is that. And omega was also calculated. 2 pi over 5, so come and sub 3 there. When we use the calculator here, we shall come up with 10.24. When we get the square root of 10.24, we'll come up with 3.2. And that will be the velocity at that point. Problem 2. A particle performing symbolic motion passes through the mean, position, mean point O and through points A and B in that order such that OA is equal to 10 centimeters and AB is equal to 10 centimeters. If the speeds of if the speeds at A and B are 8 meters per second and 6 meters per second respectively, calculate Roman 1 the amplitude of motion, Roman 2, the periodic time. So in this case we know the val the values x we know v1 and v2. Each one has a has a corresponding value of displacement. So this is for v1, which is 8 meters per second x1 will be 0 0.1. Then for v2, which is 6 meters per second, x2 will be 0 0.2. So we shall first code the formula and substitute. So v1 was 8, so put 8 squared here. Omega, we don't know it. R, we don't know it. x, we know it is 0 0.1, so put 0 0.1 squared. When you simplify, this 8 squared is 64, and this squared is 0 0.01. So that gives us equation 1. So you do the same for OB. OB the velocity was 6 and the displacement was 0 0.2. When you simplify 6 squared is 36 and 0 0.2 squared is 0 0.04. So those are two equations. We have two equations and two unknowns. So we have to solve them spontaneously. The easiest way is to divide because they are rated by multiplication. So we shall say equation 1 divided by equation 2 will give us this. I think I said that in this case, omegas will cancel and we shall remain with only one unknown, which is r. So when we cross multiply, we shall come up with this. And when you open brackets, we shall come up with this line. Simplify, come up with this. And lastly, get the value of r as 0 0.280403, sorry, 0 0.03 meters. Therefore, the amplitude of motion is 0 0.2803 meters. Roman 2, they wanted the periodic time. Remember, period is 2 pi over omega, so you have to first calculate omega. Therefore, come in one of the two equations, any of the two equations, for me, I've chosen equation 1. So when I choose equation 1, I'll come and substitute my r squared. Remember, r squared was 0 0.55 over 7. So substitute r squared here. You'll only be having one unknown, which is omega so make omega the subject to come up with 30.5512 rad per second. Now that I've got omega, I can get my periodic time from 2 pi over omega. And in the end, I'll get 0 0.2057 seconds. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.